Hey guys, today's video is going to be about beating one of my favorite systems, the Butterfly Guard, specifically from Half Guard. Here's three simple ways to get out. Alright guys, so let's look at the position. Butterfly hooks are great when I'm using them. They're not so great when my opponent's using them against me. So let's talk about um, this kind of from a Half Guard situation. So it's pretty easy to kind of defend when you're in the guard, at least I think so. When we're a newer and we get stuck in half guard, that's kind of a no man's land. And it's very difficult when they get that butterfly hook in. So let's say I've done a good job. I've passed um, Sky's guard and I've gotten to half guard, okay? So let's say he just had me in a, in a traditional like figure four type position, right? And I'm stuck. So when we get stuck in that position, we just kind of hang out here, especially when we're newer, and we don't oftentimes feel that hook coming in. So this guy gets that hook in, boom, here. So if we stay squared up to him, it's gonna be um, really easy for him to sweep and move me around. So the first thing I tell people is if we're in that position is to twist out to the side, okay? So when I twist out to the side, I've got my back leg tucked in tight, and I'm off his hook a little bit. Here's the footwork from the other side. Very important that we're comfortable with this position. It's very, very strong when done correctly. It does take some time. You need to keep chest pressure and active toes so you can be strong. So there's two, three main ways I can do this. If I lock down this shoulder on the side, one of the ways to prevent him from sweeping me is when he elevates, I just elevate too. So this is really good if you're flexible or if you have longer limbs than the other guy, it's very difficult for them to tip you over. Now, if I were to stay rigid and he does that, that's when, I, when he tips me. So if I can stay really loose with that leg and strong in my other leg in good position here, I'm going to be pretty good. So staying loose in the leg, he lifts again. Boom, I come with him. The other way to do this is I can slide over his shin when he elevates. So I have to time it correctly. When he lifts, I'm going to slide down that shin right to mount. So when he elevates, I'm just going to keep my leg relaxed and I'm going to slide down that shin boom right to mount. Always a good one. The other one to do is control the tension of the hook. So in this position, I'm going to bring my, my heel kind of to my shin and I'm going to pinch into his butterfly hook, which now I'm controlling the tension here. Very difficult for him to do anything. If he was really strong or I didn't have a good pinch, I can then also hug the leg. This is uncomfortable. Strong pinch of the leg, and I wrap here. Then it's very easy to time my back step here. So those are my favorite ways to get out of that half guard butterfly. First thing to do is twist out. You can be light with the leg. You can slide down the shin. Squeezing with both the leg and the arm is another good way to get out. See what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. As usual, please, if you have any questions, comment below.